Ah, this is gonna suck. All right, so hey everyone, this is Dan. And I don't know about you, but I have no idea what Solus's deal is in Dragon Age Inquisition. So I thought I'd take a look right now and try to figure things out. Did someone say Solus? Oh no. Solus, I heard Solus. Dan, was that you? <sighs> yeah, Seeker, it was me. I'm trying to figure out his whole plan and motivation in Inquisition. Hey, you're basically obsessed with them, right? You might say I'm excessively obsessed. Would you mind maybe sticking around and offering any insight you can? That sounds like an excellent idea. How many more egg puns do you have? How much time have you got? Never mind, let's just get started. Feel free to chime in whenever you have something to add. Eggs Benedict! That doesn't even make sense! You don't even make sense. <sighs> To anybody watching this, there are massive spoilers inbound. So if you haven't finished Inquisition, turn back now. Alright, so the way I see it, Solus is a god. Sort of, maybe, not really-ish? Seeker, you want to help me out? Sure thing. Solus himself was part of a group of powerful mages known as the Evanuris. They were so powerful, they were remembered as gods. These are those pesky elven gods you keep hearing so much about. Wait, wait, so the elven gods were basically just a bunch of really snazzy mages surrounded by a bunch of easily impressed morons? <laughs> Pretty much. Now there's a religion that actually makes sense. Moving on from that, Solus's name as one of these gods is Fen Harel, which in elvish means Dread Wolf. You find this out at the end of Inquisition when he does... something to Flemeth, who is also the god Mithal, but not exactly Seeker! What? This is getting convoluted. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Mithal, who was friends with Ben Harel, was killed by some of the other gods, and Ben Harel was pissed. So he created the veil, separating the mortal world from the Fade, and trapped them behind it. No, oh, he just created the Fade. That mystical world of demons and spirits where everyone goes when they dream. Just created it, because he was mad. Gotcha. It gets better. Mithal didn't completely die. Her remaining essence found Flemeth long ago, and the two joined. This explains how Flemeth seems to have been alive for so long, according to all those legends of the Witch of the Wilds. Alright, I think I've got a grip on things. So at the end of Inquisition, Solus absorbs Mithal's power from Flemeth and is now reunited with his old friend. But from what I gathered from the end of the Trespasser DLC, he also needed her power to carry out his plan. This plan is to merge the Fade and the mortal world, killing everyone in the process seeker! Yes? It's getting stupid again! Yeah, I love my stupid Eggman. See, before Solus created the Veil, the Fade and the mortal world were one and the same. People and spirits live side by side, but when he made the veil to banish the other gods, it split reality in two, making the world of Thedas we now know. Eesh! And I thought I overreacted when I punished my cat for scratching my chair by putting Pop Rocks in his litter box. I pity every pet you will ever own. He had it coming, the smug bastard. But why did Solus want so badly to merge the worlds again? Nostalgia? It turns out, separating the worlds also changed the elves. Before the veil, elves were immortal. Being a naturally magical people, their connection to the spiritual side of things had some benefits. But once the veil went up, the fade separated from the mortal worlds, severing that connection once shared by the elven people. Solus wants to restore the elves, who are his people, to what they once were. So he wants to merge the two worlds and kill everyone in order to restore the way things were and make the elves immortal again. Yep. But won't that kill all the elves too? Yep. Seems counterintuitive. Yep. And overly complicated. Welcome to Dragon Age. Oh boy. This series is just going to get weirder and dumber as it goes, isn't it? I wouldn't have it any other way. You know what? Neither would I. Thanks for your help, Seeker. It was my absolute pleasure. <sighs> Bye, folks. Subscribe or something. Doodles. <laughs>